<laughs> Two queens stand before me. Prior to tonight, you were asked to prepare a lip sync performance. This is your last chance to impress me, earn the first win of the season, and a cash tip. The time has come. But to lip sync for your life. And now, presenting a formal analysis of performance modes and strategies for the lip sync for your life portion on the Emmy winning reality competition show, RuPaul's Drag Race, performed today by Edmonton based drag queen, and according to some local legend, Leudes, the Merry Virgin. Wait, I'm being informed that the name is indeed Lord S. the Merry Virgin. Anyway, here she is. First, we observe the common initiation of a lip sync battle, the slow and dramatic build. on occasion is followed by what some refer to as the too much too soon it's at this point we pay witness to an obvious awkward and poorly timed reveal There are several options for how the queen will progress in her strategy to win. First off, let us observe the queen as she performs a comedically literal interpretation of the song's lyrics. Who needs to go to sleep when I got you next to me? she adopts the role of a serious and intensely focused sex kitten. Again, the sex kitten, this time adopting the role with a pronounced sense of humor. Sometimes we see the queen resort to an ardently desperate performance of excessive emotion, functioning as a plea to the judging panel to not be sent home. Similarly, the queen may put on a display of emotion to express her resentment over being placed in the bottom resulting in a performatively hostile confrontation with the judging panel. Again, utilizing emotion, the queen may formulate her performance into a tearful, passionate ode to a deceased mother or relative. queen happens to be over 40 years of age, she may attempt, through dance, to communicate something to the likes of, please send me the fuck home, so I can be with my husband and two show dogs.
Occasionally, the queen will not remember the song's lyrics. In which case, she does this. Here we see an example of the strange and quirky underdog queen's approach to performance, in which she attempts to differentiate and or disassociate herself from the standard conventions of drag performance. And finally, we present the single gesture that, every single time, even after 13 bloody goddamn seasons, sees the judging panel react like they have never seen a human body maneuver itself in such fashion.